Good Sunday afternoon, guys. All right. Nine months in the making. But this is always the fun part where you get to enjoy your hard work. It is time to pull the garlic. It is starting to fall over. It is definitely browning. So the fun part about doing all this is, like any other root crop, if you will, you have no idea what you're going to get. So... I'm going to pick some of this stuff, and let's see what we got, and then I'll show you what we do next. All right, so one thing you don't want to do is come in here and try to yank these things out of the ground. They're in pretty tight. So, what do I do? I just covered the camera. That doesn't do any good. This is kind of hard to do. So I want to get in here with a shovel, and I kind of loosen them up from underneath. As you see, I've got them in the landscape fabric. So I'm lifting the fabric up here so I can pull the stalks out from underneath. But don't yank on them. You'll break them off, and then you have them in the ground, and you've got a big problem. All right, so how's that? I don't even know how many I've got, but that is a tub <laughs> packed with garlic. There's some smaller ones in there. There's some monster ones in there. So let's get it in the house and see what we got. Okay, so while, we, while I cool down a little bit, because I'm sweaty, uh, before I pull all this stuff out and put it out on the kitchen table, I wanted to touch on one thing, because I know what somebody's going to say. Oh, you should have left it in the ground. All the stalks aren't brown yet, or whatever. Yes, I could have left this in the ground a little bit longer. No question. I mean, some of the stalks were still pretty green. The reason I took it out now is it's supposed to, God knows what the Weather Channel, supposed to rain most of next week. And what I don't want to risk is them rotting in the ground. So the whole point of me pulling them early, I mean, a week early is not going to kill me. They're still going to be good garlic, okay? Maybe they would have got a millimeter or two bigger. But don't you know, there is no... Oh my God, you've got to pull it on Tuesday. If you pull it on Monday, it's too early. And if you pull it on Wednesday, it's too late. You know, sometimes when you're harvesting your crop, you've got to kind of plan, oh, I don't know, around your schedule, uh, around the weather, things like that. So that's the reason I pulled this today is because we're supposed to be getting rain all week and I don't want to have rot. So now let's go see what we got. All right, guys, so back in the house I am now, uh, nice and sweaty, because <laughs> it's getting hot outside. But this is what you get. Switch this over. There we go. So there is, I commandeered Mrs. P's kitchen table. That is 65 heads of garlic of what we've got. We already took out, I think, three when we were making pickles and borscht and whatever, what else you make, kimchi. So, and then we had a couple that didn't come up. But you can see by the size of this, I'll put my fist next. Well, let's see what I can put next to it. It is about three fingers high. They're, most of them are medium-sized garlic. There's a few monsters in there. There's a few small ones. So uh, for the most part, we got medium-sized, probably 10 to 12 cloves per. Good haul. Now, First, I want to say this. This is garlic that I bought at the store, Heads of Garlic, grocery store. I think it was, I bought it around between Halloween and Thanksgiving last year. It was, I think it was 69 cents a pound or whatever it is. Broke it up into cloves and planted those. This was not going online and paying $6 a head or, you know, for some gourmet garlic. This is the grocery store garlic, okay? Now, that's what you'll get. And again, remember I said, you know, you're planting your garlic in late fall because you overwinter and everything. And this is harvest time, nine months to go. Now, if you'll notice, there's still dirt on it. There are still all the stalks on it. You need to leave the garlic to dry like this. It'll probably take two weeks to dry here on the kitchen table. Okay, so while I was watching the video and editing it to make sure I didn't screw anything up, uh, I neglected to say one thing when it's drying because you can't really tell in the picture. As you see, I have them staggered there on the table and then kind of facing each other. 
when you're drying the garlic, make sure the heads are not touching each other. Okay. If, if the stalks are touching the heads, that's fine. That's not a problem. The stalks are going to dry out. What you don't want to risk happening with the uh, heads of garlic is if one is rotten, it will pass the rot to the next one. So let them dry out, but make sure the heads are not touching each other. That will, that's the easiest way to destroy your garlic. All right, now back to what I was talking about. You want those stalks to be completely brown, okay? So they look like, you know, this one here that I'm holding. That's when you know your garlic is dried. You do not want to wash them. Obviously, you're trying to dry them. You don't want to get them wet. So you do not want to wash them. In a perfect world, I would have a drying table, which I have not got around to make yet. I mean, it's pretty simple. You can do it out of hardware cloth and some two by fours. But as you guys know, I've got a million and one other projects in around the house. So that hasn't been done. So I am commandeering the kitchen table. Now, the reason I want to do that is because in order to dry this, they need to be out of the sun and out of the humidity as best as possible. Now, you guys know what I've told you about humidity in Tennessee. I mean, 90% humidity here is normal in the summer. I keep doing that with my fingers. Sorry about that. I'm holding the camera. But so I need them out of the sun in a cool area and dry. Okay. My kitchen table is just that. What I will have to do here every couple of days is rotate these because obviously there's no air getting up under to the bottom side of them. And what I don't want to have happen is them start to rot on the bottom. So I'll need to rotate these every couple of days, you know, just do it a quarter turn or something, a half a turn, and it'll be all set. But there is, again, one massive haul of garlic. <laughs> And we use a lot around here from, like I said, making pickles, making borscht. Mrs. P uses it in a lot of, uh, lot of her recipes. But both of us love garlic. But the way I look at it this way, we won't be seeing any vampires around this house for a while. And the whole house is going to smell like garlic. So now all I need is some tomatoes and some basil. And man, I could have an Italian feast over here. All right. Have a good Sunday afternoon, guys. Just a short one here, but, you know, get out and grow something. But this is this is the fruits of your labor. When you get a chance to go out and harvest and you know that what you've done, I mean, especially something like this that, like I said, I planted nine months ago. I finally get to see what I got. It's always kind of fun. All right, have a great Sunday afternoon. We'll see you all in the morning. Pinball out.